or Sesame Street, uh, which was converted from English into Arabic as another way of promoting literacy in the Arab world. So Egyptians have always prized uh, their own uh, art and uh, literature, and throughout uh, the Middle East and North Africa, it's, it's been recognized. There's the contemporary uh, luminaries, uh, well, almost contemporary, Taha Hussein, not only a great writer, but a great educator uh, at the turn of the monarchy to the Republican era in the middle of the last century. Um, Ala El Aswani, uh, a, a, a dentist turned writer whose uh, novels have been turned into movies that have been seen around the world. And Ahmed Murad, just to name a, a couple. Um, I, I should also mention Naguib Mahfouz, made famous through translation into English, thanks to AUC Press. Um, I, would, I might mention one peculiar thing recently. So I have a, a three-year-old grandson who is uh, living in Jordan with my daughter and her husband. And he's, of course, a, a native speaker of English, not Arabic. But my family loves the study of Arabic. And so my daughter wants him to grow up speaking some Arabic, and he's learning it at his uh, preschool. Recently, my daughter um, uh, introduced me to a new book by an AUC alumna living in New York, uh, uh, Ms. Shendi. It's called uh, Can Yama Can, uh, Once Upon a Time, I guess is how you translate that. And what it is, is a, a collection of tales, folk tales, that are, trans that are written and illustrated, of course, in Egyptian dialect on the theory that uh, uh, young students, children, and their parents speak mostly dialect at home. And reading formal Arabic is tedious for them, or can be, and then they lose attention. But in their everyday speech, of course, they listen raptly to stories. So having the simple expedient of a storybook written in the, lo in the dialect, the national dialect of Egypt, is a way of getting... Um, children and parents, parents to read to their children, grandparents to read to their children in the dialect and engage them in the way that typically happens in countries where the written language is closer to the spoken language. So we do things like this.